pheromones are the chemical, uh, message carrying chemical signals that uh, usually operates among different individuals of the same species. Those insects, squid and lobster, many organisms actually, they produce uh, pheromones. The beautiful things about the pheromones are that with a little bit changes with the small molecules, they can carry different messages. So the pheromones have a particular smell, and is that particular smell or the way the smell changes, that communicates certain things? That's exactly. There are different messages encrypted depending on the chemical structure of pheromone. And over what distance could pine beetles, for instance, communicate uh, with each other? I will say at least a couple of hundred meters, and that's the only way that actually they communicate. So do you want us to have a smell of these? You brought yes, in... so these are mountain pine beetle pheromones. The main purpose of pheromone communication is really for finding mate yeah. and sustain enough number of beetles to kill the trees. How do you collect these, by the way? Uh, you can collect it from insects uh, directly. You can, uh, yeah. Oh, I'd wear that. Synthesize it. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's That's it, a it's female fairly English. potent, the female. It is correct. We concentrate it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was yeah. going to say, because how come I can't just smell pine beetles from yeah. a mile away? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow. It's almost, medicinal. well, I mean, it, 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 it is a little medicinal, medicinal. chemical, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's fairly pungent. Now, the pine beetles do a lot of destruction to Canadian forests. At, at what point do you hope this could have an effect on, on slowing that down? At the higher densities, we cannot do anything. No one can do anything. But yeah. at the lower densities of the beetle populations, we can use these pheromones to track their uh, population levels, and we can really prevent the epidemic occurring. Because when we put these baits on the traps, that tell you something about whether the population is growing or not.